I think we are refining what we mean by older. And uh, there's so much evidence now that it doesn't go on chronological age, but biological age. And uh, the uh, implication of that is that intensive chemotherapy and the transplant may well be very sensible and well-tolerated treatment in patients up to 70 and sometimes a little bit beyond that who are fit. But in patients who have multiple comorbidities, even in their 50s, certainly transplants associated with very significant risk. We're also keenly aware, and Professor Vyas presented data from Boston, that the molecular complexity of older patients with AML is significantly greater than younger patients, that their risk of relapse after intensive chemotherapy is substantially reduced, and that, of course, we therefore need to tailor treatment strategies accordingly. That may mean moving transplant into these patients earlier than has been used in the past. And, and, and lastly, the other main theme of the talk was the important role that azacitidine has in the management of older patients who aren't fit for intensive chemotherapy. And Professor Kavanagh summarized the data from the recent Dombre paper, the AZA AML-001 paper that was published in Blood a number of months ago, which showed uh, Im improved survival in patients treated with uh, azacitidine compared with best standard of care. So um, uh, I think it's quite exciting time for treating older patients with AML. There's going to be an enormous amount of important work in defining what we mean by fitness, which patients really are eligible for intensive induction and possibly transplant. There's an enormous amount of work to be done in terms of refining risk factors and the predicted risk of relapse. And all we need to do now, I think, is to build on the great work that has been done with Azacite in showing that it's an important role, has an important role in people who can't tolerate intensive treatment, to think about how can you increase the response rate to Azacite in. And in Birmingham we've had a number of studies running using uh, HDAC inhibitors or other strategies to augment the anti-leukemic effect of Azacite in. And those can really only be tested in randomized trials and the RAVA trial which compared Azacite in with Azacite in plus Verinostat in older patients with AML has just been completed, will be analyzed in the next couple of months, and we hope that that will provide important new treatment information.